So Games Workshop just did it. They squatted my entire Age of Sigmar collection. It's an absolute slaughter. And I'm not alone. Games Workshop just fucked <laughs> over hundreds of players in Age of Sigmar. Players who have dedicated countless hours and hours lovingly building, painting, and collecting entire army ranges for the Age of Sigmar game have now all been callously dropped entirely. Because Games Workshop has their money. It's off to the street for them. How's that for some aftercare? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, you're clearly not on social media and I envy your mental health because the war game hobby is basically on fire right now after Games Workshop declared that a whole bunch of entire armies and factions are being dropped in the new edition of Age of Sigmar that's coming out this year. Collections have been wiped out, armies rendered obsolete, and a thought and voices have cried out in pain, and I should know I'm one of them. I have bit the bullet here. Almost my entire Age of Sigmar collection has been invalidated totally. I had a Beasts of Chaos army, now I have nothing. And Games Workshop announced this in an article earlier today. It's called, What's Leaving the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Range? And the answer is, everything. Okay, not everything, just like half the things. First of all, we're losing the Fantasy Space Marines, Stormcast Eternals. They're all on the way out. Half their model range are gone. We're losing all the Bone Splitters Orcs, gone. A whole boatload of Skaven models, also gone. All the Warcry Chaos Warbands, gone. And of course, the entire Beasts of Chaos line, gone. And why? Well, according to Games Workshop, this well-deserved retirement, which as a descriptor is a little bit of a spit in the eye of anyone who thought those models looked cool and actually spent money on them in the last nine years, it's because uh, Games Workshop wants to sell new models and they can't be bothered to produce the old ones. Yeah, basically Games Workshop have said that they want to sell new miniatures and the model ranges of things like the Stormcast Eternals have become bloated. There's just too many units in that faction. And rather than chill for a while and slow down the rate of releases for the Stormcast, they're instead going to render half the model line and model range irrelevant and obsolete in order to sell new ones. Now, okay, let me, for the first and last time ever in this video, defend Games Workshop for a hot second. Many of the Stormcast Eternal units are far too similar to one another. They're, they're really just not very different. But this is a problem with Games Workshop's faction design. They create factions like the Stormcast Eternals or the Fire Slayers that really only have the design space to be a single unit or two, and then they copy and paste the same model over and over and print them out with different weapon loadouts and sell them as separate kits and sprues in order to maximize profit and reduce the cost of sculpting. But then, it turns out, after seven years of doing this, they've realized that there's too many kits, all really similar, and they're cannibalizing their own seals. And while it has worked for Space Marines to operate in this way in Warhammer 40k, it's also a fact that a quarter of the factions in Warhammer 40k are Space Marines, whereas in Age of Sigmar, it's just one faction. And okay, sure, the Stormcast Eternal model range is a bit bloated and it does overlap with itself. However, this is not the fault of players or collectors. It is a design problem that comes from Games Workshop and how they monetize Warhammer and how they want to try and reduce costs. And I would be a little bit more sympathetic to their position if I wasn't 99.99% sure that Games Workshop are going to do the literal exact same thing all over again. Because they've all heard he said that we're going to see a bunch of new Stormcast models with 4th edition to replace the discontinued ones. So what's the point in reducing the model line? Where are we going to be in 7 years time? We're going to be in the exact same place facing the exact same problem. And the question I have though, and I'm not sure if it's one that Games Workshop have asked themselves, who's going to want to buy these new models now? Now that we know they have a limited shelf life. Because I am in no doubt that this entire decision to discontinue a number of factions and model lines has killed Age of Sigmar 4th edition for a lot of people. This is an absolute disaster. I guarantee so many people are going to quit the game as a result of the squatting of their collection.
connection. Because many wargame hobbyists are painters, and many are gamers, but also very many are collectors. They buy models to collect and own, and they do so because those models have a value. They are game pieces, but that relies on there being a game for those models, a context in which to collect. And this has been shown in many, many surveys of wargamers. Once those models are discontinued, once they have no more rules, they lose their value. They lose their collectability. They can no longer be gamed with. So how can anyone buy new models in Age of Sigmar now without worrying that anything they purchase has the potential to be rendered obsolete, if not immediately, but when the next edition comes out? After all, many of the models that have been cancelled by Games Workshop today aren't even old. Like, I get that the old metal Skaven acolytes are being retired. I mean, sure, they probably could use use a refresh, but Beastman literally had a brand new unit that came out last year, and most of the Stormcast Eternal models aren't even 10 years old. The Warcry Warband models that have been discontinued are what I would describe if you put a gun to my head as very fucking recent kits. And on social media, people are not happy about this. Thousands of dollars that people have spent has been rendered pointless, and they're letting Games Workshop know. And still, all we're left with are Games Workshop's consolation prizes. Yes, that's right, they've handed out some consolation prizes in the hopes that it will simmer things down. For Stormcast Eternal players, it's the aforementioned new models that are coming out in 4th edition. Sad about losing all your collection? Well, don't worry, you can give Games Workshop more money in future. So, you know, what are you sad for? Just dump all your Celestins in the river. Buy the new ones instead. For Beasts of Chaos players, hey, you can play Beastman in the old world. I mean, sure, it's a totally different game that plays entirely differently. It's a rank and flank game and uses square bases, so you'll have to rebase your entire army. But, um, hey, you've already rebased your army once before. <laughs> What's another time, right? For Bone Split is, the consolation is eat a deck. And for Warcry, well, Games Workshop aren't even sure if the models are disappearing for sale entirely or are just no longer usable in Age of Sigmar at all. And we don't have an answer to that question. We just don't, we don't know what, what's happening with those. Yay! Are you happy with your consolation prize? Because I'm not happy with mine. Oh, yes, and by the way, in case I forget, all the model ranges that I've mentioned in this video, they are all disappearing from sale, effective, immediately. There's no grace period here. They're not being discontinued down the line. They're gone. That's it. It's over. Any stock that existed are the last ones forever. Except for Beasts of Chaos, they're gonna come back with the old world. But for Stormcast Eternals, Warcry, all gone. That's it. Buy them while they last. And in fact, many of them don't last at all. Many of those models are actually already sold out at the time of recording, never to return again. <laughs> so, you know, if you wanted them, too bad. Predictably, this has caused a complete run on the store by scalpers. But hey, Games Workshop have told us that the discontinued models will all be supported with rules until 2025 via online battle tones. And some people think that this is a good amount of notice for Games Workshop to give. But honestly, the actual decent thing to do would have been to keep producing all the models for a time and give an end date for that too, not just drop this out of the blue. And maybe not string Beastman players along for nine years and then unceremoniously drop them? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't had a lot of time to process this information, so there might be a video out in future going over this all in greater detail. It's very raw for me right now, and I'm gonna say, I really, really regret putting my Beastman on circle bases now. And I think that losing the Warcry models in particular really, really sucks because they're some of the coolest looking Warhammer pieces that Games Workshop have ever created. And my heart goes out to Stormcast players who are going to be very upset here, especially those who got into Age of Sigmar through the Stormbringer magazines who no longer have a playable army because most of the models that you could get in those magazines are now being discontinued. This is going to hit younger 
newer players, newer players once again being screwed. And make no mistake, this has all been done because Games Workshop want to monetize their game even further in the future. They want to have the space to expand the model ranges again and again. And this might become a recurring problem. And while I understand the need for shelf space, also understand Games Workshop are more profitable than Google right now. They can afford another warehouse. So this really, really, really sucks. And I will say the solution to this isn't to buy into the old world or go into another Games Workshop property. I see the solution as playing into another game like One Page Rules. Because Beasts of Chaos and all those Stormcast Eternal models are still being supported in that system. And there's no risk that they will ever be dropped because One Page Rules has an army forge that lets players build rules for their own models. So no matter what you collect, it will always retain its value there. And ultimately, today is a massive reminder that having one single corporation dominating the entire miniature wargame market is bad. It's bad for consumers, it's bad for wargamers, it's bad for everybody. And if you think so too, well, my entire mission on this channel is to help break up that monopoly. So check out my Patreon to help support me or subscribe to the channel. And on that Patreon, you'll also get access to the playtest of my new war game, Blood Black, as well as bonus videos reviewing many different war games that you can try yourself, including Malifaux this month. And I also do live streams and there's access with a hobby community on Discord that play a wide variety of games. So check it out at patreon.com slash discourse miniatures and I'll see you there. Thanks to all my patrons, especially Crypto Kev. And wow, what a sad day for Beastman Games Workshop Delinda Est.